Good Monday morning. One of the things that I love most about the Word of God is its ability to direct our steps. This is God's Word. We've talked all this year about our words, but I want us to take a moment to consider the ultimate Word, His Word. Psalms 119.105 says, His Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I don't know about you, but I know that we all at times need direction. It's probably one of the things I hear people say the most. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I, I need to hear what the Lord's asking of me. I, I want to make sure I don't miss the Lord. And I have found that this scripture speaks to me sometimes generally and sometimes specifically about what God's asking me to do. And I love when I hear the Lord speak things in my spirit because the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. God's Spirit dwells in me, so He's able to communicate to me. And I ask Him to confirm it in His Word. I remember one of the greatest times I heard the Lord speak to me, and this was more of a, a specific yet general word. I was asking the Lord if I was to move away from home, specifically to Nashville. And I was about to graduate college. I had I had only lived away from home one year when I went to the College of Charleston my freshman year. And then I moved back, lived at home, finished college out. And I needed to know what God was asking me to do. And I remember right after I had prayed this prayer, I was in my quiet time. I was reading my Bible. And it was Genesis 15. And it's when the Lord spoke to Abraham. And he said this, Leave your father's house and go to a land that I will show you. And do you know when I read that word that morning, I knew God was telling me it was time to leave. And Nashville was the only place on my radar. And that was 26, almost 27 years ago. And then just recently, I was in my quiet time one morning. And I heard the Lord speak to my heart to reach out to a friend and offer to do a Bible study with her. And I had reached out to her for different things through the years and, and been kind of rejected in that or um, just not responded to. And so this was a vulnerable step in multiple ways. And but it was so strong during my quiet time. And I was like, okay, Lord, if this is you, I need you to make this really clear. Because number one, I don't want to be rejected again. And number two, I just need to know this is really you. Because it's a, it's a bold step to invite someone to let you walk through a Bible study with them. And when I sat down that morning in my regular time with the Lord, I was in Acts. And it was the moment when Philip runs up to the chariot where the eunuch is reading these just few pages of scripture that he has. And Philip asks him, he says, do you understand what you're reading? And the eunuch said, how can I unless someone guides me? And I was like, okay, Lord. I'll call her. I'll reach out to her. And I did. And do you know what she said in her response? She said, I've always wanted someone to read the word with me because I've never really understood how to read it for myself. And so I don't know what you're asking the Lord of today. I don't know what you need to hear. But I know this, this word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. And what I would encourage you to do is begin to pray and tell the Lord, I want to hear from you. I want to know what you're asking me to do. Now speak to me through your word. And I promise you that God, God says if you ask for bread, I will not give you a stone. So ask him. 
And I promise you, he will direct your path. That's a good word for a mental moment.